shooting at ISO 1000 at the moment. Actually, 800, actually, I'm lying. Let's put it to 1000. ISO 1000. Um, the light is awful. If I zoom back out, you'll be able to see. The, uh, it's very misty, very dull. There's no sunlight at all. It's just there. Um, it's got a little better on camera due to the exposure changing. But, uh, yeah, no, it's... It's pretty rubbish, as light goes. So, anyway, I'm down the beach again. Got the car back, all fixed. New injection pump and new suspension spring. So let's hop over on the beach. And uh, have a look see what the beach is doing. It's pretty murky. I see the power station pretty well there for me, actually. The clouds are cool. Power station in the distance, that might make quite a cool photo. But yeah, pretty bad. I haven't got any microphones with me because it's a bit of a impulse journey today. So, have a look. Bulldozer's been busy down here. These, these parts up there, they re re basically build this back up all the time because the sea takes it away. And that sea level there is higher than that there. So you can see what would happen. Flood. So anyway, let's take some pictures. There's a couple of birds up there, isn't it? Not heading this way, is it? No, sort of. Like ducks. Formation. So, yeah, that's... Get some shots. Dungeness power station over there in the distance. The lighthouse doing its thing. It's actually quite cold as well. But yeah. Lovely. Right, let's take a few photos and then head off somewhere else. But those clouds look nuts. Probably a little line of them. Like well, I say, guys, apologies for the sound. Very windy, and I didn't have any microphones with me to sort of help get rid of that in the wind. As you can see here, quite noisy, pretty horrible light. Um, yeah, it wasn't. I wasn't feeling it very much, unfortunately. It was just very flat. Uh, having to shoot up at ISO 1000 to get anything, you know, one thousandth of a second upwards, really, um, for anything moving. Dungeness Power Station looked pretty cool with the clouds. Looked pretty nuts. Um, but other than that, it was it was just a bit rubbish, really. I just needed to get out and about and go and visit family and stuff like that and uh, got the car back like I said because it was repaired so I thought well I better take the RX-10 with me uh, as you can see the mist there up in the hill um, was there as well but uh, yeah it just shows you it's a little bit, little bit limited when the light is rubbish itself the uh, egrets landed down there he's just gone down into the stream might be able to get him we'll see he doesn't know I'm near now uh, but I just saw this up here that it's like being in Wales all the cl low cloud Yeah, the egret popped out, and uh, I just gave it a quick blast. As you can see there, it locked on pretty pretty easy, no troubles at all, and just followed it. So 24 frames per second, no drama whatsoever. Um, you can see there, it was absolutely fine. But I could only get up to around about a thousandth of a second whilst keeping the ISO sort of 800 to a thousand. Um, but yeah, I mean, in the day, it's they're not particularly special. But I just thought I'd show you guys just you know what sometimes you have to deal with, you know. The real world of photography isn't always ideal, so you kind of sometimes have to make do. Um, end date, it's all practice, and practice is good to learn your camera skills and also your menus and the feeling of the camera and stuff like that. So, you know, even though I haven't got any particularly good photos today, I'm still, still, you know, learning new stuff, still familiarising myself with the camera as much as possible, and just, you know, messing around and, you know, adjusting stiff stuff on the fly. You know just to you know adjust the camera to try and get the best from it unfortunately like i said before the light was rubbish and you know sometimes it's not always that great so anyway don't forget to click the subscribe button little notification bell as well any questions about the rx10 or any other sony cameras at all feel free to comment below and i'll do my best to help um hope everyone has a good christmas looking forward to it and uh i shall see you soon